The next show in this current season of the Omaha Community Playhouse opens on January 22nd. Love, Loss, and What I Wore. It's really a unique theatrical experience. Here to explain how that is, one of the actresses, Caitlin Maben. Welcome. Hi. Hi. So I, I want to start like people have no idea who wrote it, what it's about, and we'll mm -hmm. get to the who part. But for now, what is this play about? Um, really what it's about is it's just a collection of stories from women mm -hmm. about important moments in their life and clothing that was important to those moments or accessories that were important to those memories. Mm -hmm. um, and really, I mean, that's kind of about it. It's kind of in the same vein as um, the show The Vagina Monologues. Mm -hmm. So it's just it's just a collection of stories. Mm -hmm. So who, who wrote it? Um, Nora Ephron yes. and her sister. Yeah. Yeah. And they did Sleepless in Seattle and You've Got Mail. So. Giants in the movie yes. world. Um, and so autom automatically credibility to this play. Right. Um, one of the unique things about it is having all of the actresses on stage the entire time. Mm -hmm. So what is that like as an actress compared to doing it the way the rest of us have seen it done a million times? Uh, very different, <laughs> to yeah, say the least, right. um, because it's being done in a reader's theater style. So we're going to be on stage the whole time. We're going to be sitting there, and we'll be reading from our scripts, really mm -hmm. telling these stories that way. Here you are with the other four women. Oh, I haven't even seen these pictures Oh, there yet. you have it. Oh, good. <laughs> we're glad to surprise you, Caitlin. <laughs> so tell us about the dynamic between you and the four of them. Um, I, ha I haven't actually had a chance to work with them much yet, mm -hmm. but we all get along really great. I've, I know who all of them are. I've actually, the main lady, her name's Charlene Willoughby, she's playing Gingy. Mm -hmm. um, she was actually my high school drama teacher. Mm -hmm. So it's oh, nice wow. to actually get to work with her. So. Uh -huh. And there you are again. I don't oh, know if you've seen that one either. I haven't. <laughs> we, I love that we're surprising you with these images <laughs> along with our friends at home. Um, do you identify with any of the stories um, that are that are shared in the play. I do, you do relate absolutely. To them? I don't necessarily identify that much with some of my characters that uh -huh. I play, but there are definitely some stories within the show that I, I identify with. There's mm -hmm. there's one monologue that's about a lady who hates purses and <laughs> thinks they're such a burden and <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah. It's you. Yes. Because you can never find anything. Right. But it's Maybe of, they're bottomless pits. But it's not like it's the purse. It's sort of what it symbolizes or attaching it right. to the moment right. or the exactly. event in time that was a milestone. Um, and I think that's what's so interesting is it's not about clothing. It's not superficial in that way. It's mm -hmm. just marking those moments yes. uh, with what you were wearing or what you were carrying. And do you think most women will, will relate the way you did to at least one story? Oh, absolutely. There's, there's no doubt in my mind that you will. There is something for everybody within this show, whether it's the whole thing or whether it's just one or two pieces, uh -huh. you're going to relate. Uh -huh. The show does contain some strong language. Yes. Um, and so I feel like it's, it's prudent to warn the audience before they come. So what do, what do you recommend? like an age range do you have those staples for um, the show I mean I would probably if, if you're okay with it any uh, 13 and above probably mm -hmm. sort of like a PG-13 language like mm -hmm. I don't know how strong it is there's a couple of f-bombs okay so. <laughs> Kayla's just sorry. Tell all. No, I think you got to know because you don't want to have to look at your child right. and like cover their ears right. if you brought them in and you didn't know what right. this was really about. Um, do you relate to your character and, and tell us more about her? Well, I, the thing is, is that Sharp plays the only stable character through the whole show. Mm. The other four of us play multiple characters. Okay. For, it's, it's an hour and a half. So yeah. we're all just playing, we're across the board over here. Um, How many do you play? Oh gosh, I haven't counted. Um, like if you had to guess, I'd probably say at least seven. Really? Yeah. Is that uh, that's got to have challenges, but also rewards? So like, don't even address the challenges. What do you like about playing that many people in one show? Well, because it's the readers' theater style, it's it's more just you have multiple different stories. Yeah. And they're they're delivered slightly differently mm -hmm. each time, but it's it's not so much characters really got it but you got to own the story right right, right. you still got to sell the story right. um, who do you recommend for this show do you want to see groups of women come together oh that'd do be you so want much sisters fun. to come together like what is your your thought on that as a cast I, member I, 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 any woman I think should come and see this show because mm -hmm. I it's it's a story for women about women mm -hmm. by women are men going to be completely uncomfortable there might be moments. <laughs> so, but no, they're I still don't. welcome. Yes. Right? You're not going to turn welcome. them away. I mean, the show runs through Valentine's Day, uh -huh. so. 
It's a good gift. Yeah, well, let's talk about the dates in case you'd like to go. Um, it doesn't start for about a month still, yes. right? January 22nd will be the first show, and then through the middle of February, it's $36 for adults and $22 for students. Um, and a limited time offer on tickets right now. Do you know the scoop on that? It's the four pack, right? For $80. Yeah. But it's just for the holidays. So deal. this won't, yeah, that won't extend forever. So if you would like to give it as a gift, we always complain. And what do you get the person who has everything, <laughs> right? And, and so many of us are really thinking now about giving experiences and not just things. Mm -hmm. So to maybe give tickets um, to Love Loss and What I Wore works for you. Just make sure you get those tickets now. Um, but the show will uh, run January 22nd through February 14th online. It's omahaplayhouse.com. If you'd prefer to get tickets, you're welcome to call 553-0800. Caitlin, it's a pleasure to meet you. Thank, Thank you. Thank you for coming in. A Merry Christmas. You too. Thank you.